Hello again, I'm Charles Knapp, and here is another Back of the Book video. It's my interpretation of Phantasmagory in pages 116 and 117 of Byron Price's book, The Secret. Jumping right in, look at the subtitle, Miraculum Noem Dies. This Latin phrase translates into the world words, Miracle Nine Days. If you look that up, you will find the miraculous medal, Novena Prayers. It's important to note, Noem means nine, which on the Roman calendar is the ninth month of November. The November puzzle is New York. And if you look at John Jude Palancar's New York painting, you can see a striking resemblance of posture and clothing. The story of how the apparition of the Virgin Mary appeared to the future Saint Catherine Le Bleuer on November 27, 1830 can be easily found online. That and other visions made Saint Catherine famous, and fame is the theme of Phantasma Glory. On page 116 we find references to fame, California, and New York. The reference to mind boggles is of great interest. Why is mind boggles written here? It's because pop, it's popcorn in your ear. You can see my, this is from the mind boggles artwork. Popcorn was the San Francisco phone number from the 70s called to get the exact time. More information can be found in my video, In Your Ear. On page 116, we also find the words self-absorbed, vainglorious, shallow, runs, run to Hollywood, that guy sitting in the ruins of his barrel, and alone in their rooms practicing their autographs. These are referencing the West Ghost see the barrel. Also, Narcissism. Here's a painting of Narcissus by Caravaggio. In JJP's painting, we find this helicopter shape. That shape can be found in a painting by Boltrafio called Narcissus at the Fountain. Much more on the West Ghost can be seen on my separate video located on my YouTube channel. We also find references to towers, corners, and burnt out. We find numbers at the corner of the West Ghost. What do they mean? You see the three and five. As for the tower reference, we have Coit Tower in San Francisco. Looking at history, Coit Tower was named after Lily Coit, a volunteer firefighter. Is Coit Tower found in JJP San Francisco art? Maybe. Near the edge, in the background. We find fame mentioned again in the Rhine Maiden Richard Wagner paragraph. A deep dive is needed to go through this paragraph. I'm not doing that now, just pointing out some key words. Rhine Maidens, hidden treasure, egomaniacal, fame addiction, and go for the gold. Now I looked for a Manhattan Wagner opera poster, but instead I found this recent art by P. Craig Russell of Dark Horse Comics. Look at the elements here. The dragon with the loophole tail. The mermaid Rhine Maidens. There's three right there. The gold ring. And there are also other wonderful images in this poster. Under Spotter's Tips, we find 
passing through the Guinness Book of Records and thumping guitars. These words link us to page 109, Passing Fancies, where we see some fads and the being the guitar. You can see the different fads in the guitar. Passing Fancies is San Francisco art, and I cover the significance in my separate YouTube video by the same name. And there are many San Francisco clues in Passing Fancies, so I highly recommend watching that video. Lastly, looking at the photo and inscription at the bottom of page 116, the words, The Phantasmagory beckons you to the coast. If you're on the coast already, to the other coast. That implies the New York and San Francisco puzzles. Perfect. In the photo, we see Marielle Hemingway and Albert Einstein, both famous. Here is a poster from the 1979 movie Manhattan, listing the stars, one of whom is Marielle Hemingway. It also shows music by George Gershwin, who some consider the Rhapsodic Man for Rhapsody in Blue. The bridge in the art and movie is the Queensboro, Queensboro Bridge, viewed from Sutton Place. And this is the February 19, 1979 cover of Time magazine, celebrating Albert Einstein. Inside the magazine, we find the cover page description. Einstein fever throughout the world certainly qualifies as fame. Well, in conclusion, Phantasma Glory is about fame with links to the New York and San Francisco puzzles. Thank you for taking the time to watch and listen to my interpretation of Phantasma Glory.